Let's talk about DeMar DeRozan. He has been traded to San Antonio. His response to the trade was dark. He posted this Instagram story middle of the night last night being, quote, be told one thing and the outcome another. Can't trust him. Ain't no loyalty in this game. Mm. Sell you out quick for a little bit of nothing. Mm. And then soon you'll understand. Mm. Don't disturb. Mm. Our Chris Haynes reporting that DeRozan met with Toronto officials in Las Vegas during Summer League, left that meeting believing he had been assured enough that he would not be traded. And get into the semantics on did they actually say he won't be traded or did they just say you're a part of our future? Who knows? But he felt that way leading the meeting. And the response around the league, here's Paul George shaking my head. Isaiah Thomas tweeting. Oh, Isaiah Thomas. Loyalty is just a word in this game. Shaking my head, a lot of head shaking. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll roll through some of these other player tweets as we go here. But you're our front office expert in right. The players feel DeRozan deserved better treatment by Toronto. What do you think? Uh, better treatment doesn't mean not getting traded, but it does mean being treated with respect. And if something is being discussed and I'm addressing it to you directly, right. you are going to be upfront with me. Um, and so I had this question today on the radio here in LA, and someone said, well, were they supposed to tell him the truth? And then he's upset, what if the trade doesn't happen? I said, here's the thing, you're taking it as if this is the first time we're having this conversation. I work with Steve Kerr, I work with David Griffin, and one of the things they always did, didn't matter whether it was a rookie or Shaquille O'Neal, the, the thing is, that if there's an opportunity to make this team better, mm -hmm. we will not hesitate to do that. And you, we hope you're a part of this, but you may not be. And this is a business, and I never want you to feel like, oh, you're the only one for me or anything like that. And so when we did have those situations come up, players respect just being straightforward. Just be straight with me. Right. Don't lie to me. Mm -hmm. don't, don't tell me you love me in my face. And then meanwhile, you are really working on this thing. And so that part of the relationship starts a lot earlier than, hey, my name is in trade rumors. It starts literally on day one. And when you have an upfront relationship with the player, when that day comes, they can swallow it a little easier. Look, I don't blame, I don't blame him for one second for being upset. He was the face of that team. He was the face of that region, that city, when a lot of guys didn't want to go there. I mean, a lot of guys were kind of yeah. like, all right, Toronto, really? He took it all on. He took that mantle and he enjoyed it. But People don't like being lied to, yeah. especially NBA players. And if you feel like uh, you have been lied to, you're going to remember that, even if you do understand the business side mm -hmm. of it. And that, I think, is the difference here. I, I feel like reading through the tea leaves, right. he feels like somebody told him something, and then the recently. next day, and someone told him something else recently, happened. not months right. ago. This right. was recently, right. and that's mm -hmm. the big part. And we don't know, by the way, we, we haven't heard Masai Jury talk yep. about this. We don't know the Raptor side of this story. I think every NBA player, and you saw Isaiah Thomas there, and, and he was a definite. He's, Warning He's the tale. poster child. He's the of poster them. child for you could get no matter what you give to a team, you could get traded. Blake Griffin, who is a Clipper for life, was right. traded six months later. So I think players are aware of we, this now. I don't love it when fans are like, "You guys should know it's a business." They know it's a business. They understand that they could get traded. But as you guys point out, it's the way it happens. Right. We still need more to this story. We, but Demar, frankly, feels it didn't happen in a cool way, and that's important. Do you remember we talked about this on draft night? We had uh, Markeith Morris, and mm -hmm. we talked about what happened in Phoenix, and the same thing. It's not that, hey, you're not supposed to trade my brother ever, it's that be up front with us about it. Don't, don't kind of- You told me it wasn't gonna happen, and then it did. Well, Recently. And, and just, yeah, exactly. We'll talk more about